This is Floetrol latex base that I'm adding to my paint. These are two paints between their Liquitex Basics, uh, the Fine Touch and Master's Touch. I'm going to speed through the mixing, but there's about 50-50 paint to Floetrol. These are 4 ounce cups, so I've got probably a little over an ounce of both of each of these and then I'm going to add lots of water to it to make it fluid. I'm going to speed through them at rest. I don't know if you can see that. But it pours in a steady stream off the end of the stick. That's the consistency that you want. I, I call it warm honey because it's, a, it's like a strand. It's not dripping. And um, I had some of these colors already in here and I mixed a lot because so, I added more paint. So I do have silicone and that might produce small cells, but I'm going to add more because most of it is new paint. So about three drops in each cup. They're four ounce cups, but I already had just a hair of each color already in the cups. So and then you just give it a couple of stirs not a lot if you want to try to get bigger cells put my water bottle away so very quickly the fine touch primary yellow Liquitex Basics Cadmium Orange. The red I ran out of the other one I used and this one is Permanent Red. Master's Touch. Then the, the hot pink one is a mixture of Light Magenta, Artist Loft, and Liquitex Basics Quinacridone Magenta. So those are combined to get the hot pink. This lighter purple is just called Purple and it's Master's Touch. This is called Deep Violet. It's by Liquitex Basis. Basics. So it's a violet color. I love the combination of these colors. As you can see, I had done some artwork with it before on another video. And I wanted to try swiping one more time. I'll tell you what, I'm going to move these out of the way. So they're not in the center part of the camera. This is a little wooden plaque that I got at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. It's like a cradled board, but it's only it's not as nine inches square. I have not primed it, but I'm gonna I think I'm gonna put enough paint on it where I think I'll be okay. But I love these colors so much, I just had to do another swipe 
like I had done earlier. So I'm going to start with Usually my colors are in bottles. This is white and Floetrol. I'm just going to rub it in with my gloved hand. So as you can see, this white is not like opaque where it totally covers. It's a little bit transparent because it has that Floetrol in it that makes it flow. And um, so there's the white. So I just want a little bit of white on here to help my paint move around. All right. So I'm going to do basically kind of what I did with the last two canvases that I did a swipe on. I'm going to um, put a layer of the deep violet and then the purple. And the magenta mixture. I'm going to put a light strip of orange there. So this is just going to be a little bit different from the other one, but I love the color so much. Light strip of yellow here and here, and then down here. Okay. I'm just going to tilt the canvas both ways, and that way, my canvas, it's, well, it's wood, but I'm calling it a canvas, is covered on both sides, which is sometimes hard to do when you're swiping because you're kind of coming towards you. So, just making sure the edges are covered kind of before the get-go. And now I'm going to add my strip of black at the top. So just like the last time I swiped this, the black and purple are going to be the main colors that come down. So you take your damp paper towel, you lay it down on the black. See, I didn't get it straight there. Okay, you lay it down on the black, let it rest in the paint. Now I've got to get to let go and then you just softly drag People have been using the string technique where you pull the string through it and when I did my last swipe I accidentally got my paper towel up on the edge and I liked the way it looked so I'm going to kind of try that effect again. So I'm just kind of taking the like a section or corner Letting it lay in the paint. And then just pull it off. What happened on the last one was the yellow popped through. I'm, I was trying to get the yellow to come out.
So I didn't quite do what I wanted it to do, but I like it anyway. I'm going to let this just drift back that way. This is what I love so much here is the red and orange and yellow together. Okay, I like that pretty well. So I like that, and I might could, you know, when this dries, paint something black down here like a silhouette, and this be the background. Um, I think that would be really cool. So, anyway, it didn't turn out the way I planned, but I still like it. And I think it'll dry really pretty. And like I said, I'll do something. Well, it's at the top of the screen. But it might end up being the bottom of the picture. I'm not sure. That might be a silhouette of something. Maybe a tree. I don't know. But just wanted to show you. Okay. So I'm going to move this out of the way. I want to do one more with a canvas. It's a new one. I just have fingerprints all over it. So I'm going to put a light layer of white. Knocking things over here. So I just have a scraper. This is a plastic paint scraper. Just to spread my white out. I'm going to do a dirty pour, I think. I haven't done one in a bit, and I love dirty pours. So this is on a, I think this is a, let me look and see what size it is. Eleven by fourteen. So I think I'm going to do two smaller cups. Put a little white in the very bottom. I'm going to kind of go in that rainbow color effect that I just did with um, yellow, orange, and these are great little four ounce condiment cups that you can put lids on when you're done with them, which is great. Red. Magenta. Okay, I'm going to do a, just a little bit of black. The lighter purple. And the deep violet. Just a little drizzle of white on top. Okay. So these are five ounce cups. And I have maybe two and a half ounces in each one. So it's not a lot of paint. Oh, well, there goes one. <laughs> my hands are slippery and it slipped out of my hand. So there's one. Things don't always go as you plan. That's the nature of poor painting, isn't it? So basically I have about five ounces of paint on this canvas. The, 
the cups are really pretty inside. Oh, I love that. I'm going to do my heat gun first. It's so funny how you, when you pour the same amount of paint, kind of in the same fashion in a cup, and then they turn out totally different. I'm going to do another, another one. So, yellow. Orange. Red. Magenta. I'm going to do the light purple. A little bit of black. And the violet on top. And a drizzle of white. Now this is definitely way too much paint for this canvas. I've got loads of paint. But this purple is kind of really boring so I'm glad that this came out kind of powerful with the yellow. Um, give it some interest. So I'm basically just trying to get it to cover the canvas. Sure, all my edges are covered. So here it is, and um, trying to decide if I want to leave it. this orange and just kind of break up that chunk of purple there. And Run in a little bit of white there.
get rid of a little bit of that black. Okay, I think I'm going to just stay with this. So here it is. colorful. It didn't come out in my mind like I had planned. That's the way acrylic pouring is.